Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into sorcery on Roblox, specifically talking about clans. Now, while clans aren't the core of your build in this JJK-inspired game, having the right lineage can give you a solid power boost and make a world of difference in your survivability. So, if you've been grinding away and feel like you're missing that little extra something, it might be time to roll into a new clan. Trust me, the perks you can gain are totally worth it. In this video, we'll be breaking down our Sorcery Clans tier list, ranking every clan from best to worst. We'll also include the roll rates, so you'll know just how lucky or unlucky you need to be to get your hands on the meta clans. Whether you're looking for insane buffs to back up your player build, or just trying to survive a little longer in those intense PvP fights, this guide has got you covered. And hey, while you're at it, don't forget to check out our Sorcery Weapons tier list for even more tips to level up your gameplay. So grab a snack, sit back, and let's roll into the world of Sorcery Clans. Ready? Let's go! I'm quickly moving on to the video, and I'm ranking clans in Sorcery. Before we start, if you enjoy these types of list videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy watching! The clans in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Kugasaki, Inumaki, Kashimo, Toto, and Kinji. Alright, so let's talk about the D-tier clans in Sorcery. These are, hands down, the absolute worst clans you could roll into. Like, if you get stuck with one of these, you're gonna wanna hit that reroll button so fast you might break it. Seriously, these clans offer nothing. Zilch, nada. It's like opening a treasure chest in a dungeon and getting a spoon. I mean, sure, you could use it, but why would you want to? Let's kick things off with Kugisaki and Inumaki. Both of these clans give you, wait for it, no buffs. That's right, you're just hanging out in the world of sorcery with nothing special going for you. Sure, you've got a 23.1% chance to roll them, but let's be real, those are 23.1% odds of disappointment. And speaking of disappointment, Kashimo, Toto, and Kinji aren't much better. Each gives you no buffs as well, with a slightly lower 11.5% chance to roll. So, hey, at least you're less likely to end up with one of these, right? If you do find yourself stuck with one of these clans, don't panic. There's still hope. Just re-roll as soon as possible, and trust me, anything else is going to be an upgrade. You'll thank yourself later when you're out there fighting with actual powers, instead of just hoping your lineage will somehow get you through the battle. The clans in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Zenin and Itadori. So let's talk about C-tier clans in Sorcery. You know the ones that you really don't want to be stuck with for too long. Honestly, C-tier clans aren't the absolute worst, but they're definitely not worth holding on to. They're kind of like that pair of shoes you bought on sale. They get the job done, but you're always wishing you'd splurged on something better. If you happen to roll a C-tier clan, my advice? Start re-rolling as soon as you can, because these don't bring anything that'll make you go, wow. Take Zenin clan, for example. Sure, you get plus 15 health, not bad, right? But other than that, there's not much to write home about. With a 1.1% chance to roll, it might seem rare. But trust me, rare doesn't always mean great. You're better off holding out for something more exciting, because Zenin isn't going to make you feel like you're living that anime protagonist life anytime soon. Then, there's Itadori with the same plus 15 health bonus, but it's slightly easier to roll at 2.7%. Now, don't get me wrong, we all love Itadori, but the clan in Sorcery doesn't exactly match his epic Jujutsu Kaisen vibes. Remember that You Are My Special Tune from the JJK opening? Yeah, Itadori Clan didn't get the memo. It's solid in a pinch, but if you're looking to make serious plays, you'll want something a bit more special than this. The clans in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Kamo. Alright, so let's talk about the B-tier clans in Sorcery. Now, these clans are basically your middle-of-the-road picks. They're not gonna blow your mind with insane buffs, but they're not complete trash either. Think of them like your last resort. You know, when you're low on re-rolls and you get one of these clans, it's not the end of the world. You can make them work, but you might not be zooming through the game like you would with an S-tier or even A-tier pick. Take the Camo Clan, for example. You get a nice little boost of pluses 30 cursed energy, which sounds pretty cool, right? It's not bad. But here's the thing. You've got a 5.7% chance to roll it, and honestly, when you're trying to speed through progression, you might want to aim for something a bit stronger. Kamo can hold its own in certain situations, but if you're really trying to level up quickly, you're gonna want something with more punch. It's like driving a decent car when there's a Ferrari sitting right there in the garage. Sure, it'll get you from point A to point B, but... 
Do you really want to settle? At the end of the day, B-tier clans like Kamo aren't bad, but if you're serious about climbing the ranks in sorcery, you're probably going to want to re-roll when you can. They're great for holding down the fort until you land something better, but trust me, you'll feel the difference once you switch to a higher tier clan. It's all about that balance between making do and pushing for greatness. The clans in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Ghetto and Fushiguro. Now, let's dive into the A-tier clans in Sorcery. These guys might not be as overpowered as the S-tier, but trust me, they're still solid choices. If you're someone who doesn't want to gamble on re-rolling and possibly end up with something worse, an A-tier clan is a great middle ground. You get some decent stat buffs that can really make a difference in your build, and hey, sometimes it's all about being a little more consistent, right? First up, we've got Ghetto. This one's pretty spicy with a plus 30% boost to Cursed Energy, perfect for players who like to go all out in battles. You also get a nice plus 10% to your health, so it's not just about hitting hard, you're a bit tougher to take down too. Oh, and let's not forget the 1.0% roll chance, rare, but if you land it, you're golden. Next, let's talk about Fushiguro. This one's a bit more common with a 5.7% roll chance, but still packs a punch. You get a solid plus 10 to your health, which helps you stick around longer, and a plus 20 boost to your cursed energy. Not bad at all. It's a clan that's got a little bit of everything, staying power and enough energy to keep you casting spells and causing chaos. Honestly, if you roll into Fushiguro, you're in a good spot. The clans in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Gojo. Alright, let's dive into the best clans in Sorcery. If you're looking to dominate the battlefield, you can't go wrong with the S-tier clans. These clans are like the VIP section of a club. Once you're in, you're not just enjoying the party, you're owning it. The perks you get from these clans are nothing short of amazing, offering massive stat buffs that will take your character build to a whole new level. Seriously, with these clans backing you, you'll be able to take on any challenge that comes your way. First up, we've got the Gojo Clan. Now, let me tell you, this clan is all about power and precision. With the 6-Eye Sensibility, you gain a whopping Plar 10 Cursed Energy and plus 5 Health. That's right, you'll feel invincible as you unleash devastating attacks while soaking up damage like a pro. And the cherry on top, there's a 1.1% chance to roll for even more incredible boosts. Imagine strolling through a battle like you own the place, because with the Gojo Clan, you pretty much do. So, if you've been wondering whether to stick with your current clan or take the plunge and re-roll, I'd say hold off on that decision for a while. S-tier clans are the real deal, and once you join them, you'll be feeling so strong you could practically rewrite the fate of the world, maybe even stop the Shibuya incident while you're at it. Trust me, you'll be grateful you made the choice to embrace the power of the best clans in sorcery. The video ends here. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.